There is a war going on out there. It is a war on authority. And who is the ultimate authority, man or God? And the problem is that Christians, the church, have not stood on the authority of God's word. We've let it be attacked. And that's why it's so important that we give our children answers beginning God's word. We rebuild that foundation ourselves and we build that foundation in our children today that the Bible is the ultimate authority and not to compromise as many Christians have um, in believing that man is the authority and not God and compromising on God's word. You know, a couple years ago, a group of atheists visited, visited the museum and this is what one of them wrote after the visit. He said, for me, the most frightening part was the children's section in the Creation Museum. It was at this moment that I learned the deepest lesson of my visit to the museum. It is in the minds and hearts of our children that the battle will be fought. And he's absolutely right. This is where the battle is. And, you know, um, so many times I think people think, oh, you know, don't worry, dear. It looks harmless. It's okay. Those things that our kids are watching. But it's not. It is dangerous. Because what is being taught is completely contrary to the word of God. You know, Ken recently received a letter from a mother who had just read our new book, Already Compromised, about the compromises going on in the Christian colleges. And I want, to listen, I want you to listen to what she wrote. She said, how can people accept the idea of evolution and still think they have a faith worth committing their lives to? Our young people certainly see the inconsistencies and have decided not to commit their lives to Christ for this very reason. I believe their blood is on our hands if we are not equipped to share with them the truths of God's word and offer them intelligent answers to their very real questions. And I just love that because it summarizes really well why I wanted to do this presentation in the first place, okay? Because we need to be equipping them. We need to be prepared to give an answer. Remember, life is in university. We're the professors and our children are the students. We need to give them intelligent answers based on God's word as the ultimate authority and show them from science and other areas as relevant um, that they confirm, again, and support the truths of the Bible. So we connect God's word to God's world so that they can demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. That's what we're responsible for.